So now that we've enabled the payment processors on our Shopify account, let's purchase a product and check out from the store so we can get the full customer experience and see the logistics of the payment and fulfillment process. It's always a good idea to test the entire checkout process in your store before sending traffic and customers in order to fix any errors or make changes if needed. You also want to make sure nothing is confusing and you provide the best customer experience possible. So let's head over to our Shopify store and purchase a product. The quickest way to get to your store from your Shopify dashboard is to look at the menu on the left and click the little square box at the top right. So here's my example Shopify store which I've named Meditate Zen. In order to see which products I currently offer, go over to the menu and click the catalog link. Here you can see that I currently have two different products available for sale in my Shopify store. I have the black meditation mala beads and the red meditation mala beads. I'm displaying both of my products as being on sale for $8.97. Let's click on this product and check out the listing. So here's the product detail page for my sandalwood meditation mala beads. I have three different high quality images so that customers can get a better idea of what they're purchasing. You can also see my product variants here where the customers can select to purchase a black or red mala bead. I'm going to select the red version for my example purchase. If I scroll down a bit, you can also see my product description and the other products that's in this collection. So let's go ahead and click the add to cart button. From here, customers can see the item they're purchasing, the price of the product, the quantity they want, and the total cost of the sale. This price does not include the shipping taxes and discounts. So let's click the checkout button to continue. Here's where the customer will enter their details such as their email address and their shipping address. Once the customer enters their shipping address, the price will automatically update to include the taxes. So you can see that now that I've put in my shipping address, the price is now updated from $8.97 to $9.51. This accounts for $0.54 cents in taxes. So now I'm going to click continue to shipping method. I currently only offer standard shipping for my store, which is $5. If you look to the right, you'll see the shipping has been added to the total. Let's continue to the payment method. This is where the customer actually completes the transaction. They can pay using the credit card or they can select to use PayPal. I'm going to type in my credit card information and pay with the credit card. Most major credit cards can be accepted by your Shopify store. So once the customer has entered their payment information, they can click complete order. And there you have it. The customer will then be taken to the thank you page. It shows that the order is confirmed and it provides the order number. Your customer will also automatically receive a confirmation email where they can view all the details of their order. Next we will go over the steps that you will have to take in order to fulfill the customer orders. See you in the next